Hi, my name is Kale Sinoff, and I'm going to be reading my new book, Danny the Duck Head South, written and illustrated by me. Way up north, it was nearing the time for the first snowfall, and the local ducks knew they had no time to stall. The ducks were getting ready for the long trip south for warmer weather, because if snow were to fall, they'd freeze every tail feather. There was one duck among them who stood out from the rest. When it came to flying, he was clearly the best. His name was Danny, and he had one particular flaw. He was distracted by most everything he saw. It was finally time for the ducks to take off into the sky. Danny was flying as close to the flock as could be. He was doing just fine until Rusty Raccoon caught his eye and he crashed face first right into a tree. Danny fell all the way down to the ground, and when he got up, his whole flock was nowhere to be found. He couldn't fly anymore no matter how much he tried. Now how am I going to go south? He said as he sighed. Before long, he flagged down a taxi by the street, and without hesitation, he hopped in the back seat. The taxi drove a few miles until the driver found out he had no cash and threw him out. Now what? said Danny, who was beginning to pout. When he turned around, there was a small farm off in the distance. He saw three horses and decided to go over and say hi. Danny asked them for some assistance. Can you take me south? He asked them, feeling kind of shy. One horse spoke out, I can take you there. Without wasting any time, Danny grabbed a saddle and they galloped away as a pair. They made it quite a ways before the horse got tired and fell on the ground. This isn't going to work, said Danny, but then he heard a strange sound. He heard a loud voice shout, All aboard! Followed by a very loud whistle. It was a train. Danny sprinted after it as fast as a missile. No animals on board, the train attendant said. Before he knew it, Danny was left on the side of the road, sadly shaking his head. Then, Danny saw an enormous hot air balloon. And when nobody was looking, he hopped on board. He went so high he felt like he could touch the moon. Danny was doing just fine until a woodpecker landed on top. He begged him to fly away, but it was too late, and Danny's balloon went pop. After the fall, Danny was by a lake. He found a small rowboat. He pushed it out and started rowing until he saw something swim beneath him while he was afloat. Danny saw that it was a turtle, but he leaned over too far. The boat started to sink. If he didn't come up with something, he'd freeze, so he had to think. Until... Danny hopped on the back of a plane before it started flying. He did it. It's taking me all the way south, he said, sighing. He learned to keep moving in forward motion as that plane flew him all the way south to the ocean. He was so relieved he finally got where he needed to go, and there was no doubt he was safe from the freezing cold snow. Danny now had a new way of flying south that was an always clever and he could get there faster than any duck ever. The end.